Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to part 31 of Introduction to C++ here on sololearn.com. So let's go ahead and go into the functions where we left off. We're going to go into functions with multiple parameters. So uh, let's get started. So you can define as many parameters as you want for your functions, but uh, by separating them with commas. So let's create a simple function that returns the sum of two parameters. So this, this is the return type, integer, then this is the function name. Here are our parentheses, so it's going to take an integer x and an integer y. So again, you can call these whatever you want. And here is where your logic, your code block is inserted. And then this is the end of your function. So as defined, the add numbers function takes two parameters of type int and returns an int. So data type and name should be defined for each parameter. Okay. So fill in the missing parts of the following code to define a function hello, which returns int and takes two parameters. Okay, so we just have to give the return type integer. Uh, let me see, what did I do wrong? Which returns int and takes in two parameters. Oh, sorry, we need the comma there. My bad. All right. So multiple parameters. Now let's calculate the sum of two parameters and return the result. So here we have integer add numbers, int x and int plus y. We have a uh, variable result, which is an integer, which is going to add these two parameters. And finally, we are returning result, which is, of course, of type integer. So fill in the missing parts of the function, add numbers, which takes two integers, variables x and y, and returns their sum. Sum is calculated and stored in the answer variable. So integer add numbers, int x, int y, uh, int answer is equal to x plus y, and then finally, we want to return answer. Awesome. So now we can call this function. We built it. Here's our main method, which is the entry point to our console application. We're printing to the console output stream. And, um, and then we're calling this function with 50 and 25. And this is going to return to a 75. You can also, you know, assign this variable in, in, integer x equal to the result of this function. And then we can print to the console out, output stream uh, x. So type in code to call function add numbers from main with parameter values 43 and 86. Okay, and then we want to print out result to the output stream. Awesome. So you can add as, multi as many parameters to a single function as you want. So here we have integer add numbers, int x, int y, int z, and int a. Okay, so here we're adding them all together and then we're returning the result just to show you, you know, you can have unlimited parameters. And if you have multiple parameters, remember to separate them with commas, uh, both when declaring them and when passing the arguments. So how many parameters can a function have? as many as you want. Awesome, guys. All right, it's a pretty quick lesson. That was it for part 31. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.